Engineering Vice Provost, Assistant Vice Provost, Program Heads, Assistant Program Heads, Staff, Faculty, Distinguished Guests, and my fellow graduates of the class of 2019. Hi. And welcome every one of you to the 14th Annual Last Lecture, the day where we celebrate success. And I'm honored to be here to reflect on the amazing journey we made from first year to our final year. Do you all recall back at our orientation, if you attended, our <laughs> Vice Provost and Chief Academic Officer, Dr. John Walsh, or Assistant Vice Provost and Program Head of Business, Dr. George Bragas, mentioned three things to keep in mind. To work hard, work in teams, and to have fun. Do you all agree that we did it all three during our four years? <laughs> about the theme of celebrating success. I think of three elements, community, success, and change, because those elements play a huge role to where we are right now, one step closer to graduation. Community is what brings every one of us together. During our four years, we got to meet many students from every year and every program of study. These connections that were formed from being in a small community led to being friends, soulmates, or even university best friends. <laughs> As alumni, that's a welcoming environment for us, and having that environment led a sense of welcoming community. If it's just a hi, being in the same classes together, wearing our assignments and studying for tests, or going out to different events on and off campus, we were all in this together. Personally, I can definitely say that I was able to be so many students across seven programs and learn a lot about them. Thank you to all the students who are here or not here today who I got the privilege to meet during my four years. Furthermore, being in a small community also gives the opportunity to build strong relationships with our support staff from different departments and faculty members. There have been times we had difficult questions in our mind and can be challenging to answer on our own. Questions such as, I'm unsure what I want to do after graduation, or I'm unsure what I want to do for my placement. The staff and faculty were there to get those answers now, or it could lead to an answer later on in the future. Thank you to all who helped us find our answers to our tough questions. Having a small, having a strong sense of community at the University of Wolfhamer played a significant role in the amount of support we all got, which led to success. The previous graduate class set high expectations and standards from the many successful moments they had across the seven programs of study. During our four years at the University of Wolfhamber, we all had successful moments. Big or small, we all made it happen. And I take the opportunity to recognize the different moments we had as students, such as, Waking up early in the morning for our 8 a.m. classes, <laughs> running up the spiral staircase or taking the elevators, facing <laughs> our tests and assignments, and getting involved in the Guam Humber community. Those things can be difficult, but each one of you who was able to achieve them should be commended. Last lecture is all about celebrating success, and all programs have made many achievements that help shape the university for the better. In business, from the different case competitions we excelled in, especially with DECA, Ethics in Action, Network of International Business School, Royal Rose, the CFO, and Fast Pace to the Case, we have placed top four at all those competitions, which required over a hundred hours of training. In media studies, we're putting a lot of effort in the final capstone project called Emerge. And no one mentioned, goes to the Emerge Magazine for winning the Gold Crown Award. And my congratulations go to the students who have been nominated for their respective categories for the Emerge Media Awards. In family and community social services, your program has the greatest number of placement hours throughout the four years. You were able to show how your field of study can make a change at the Sea Chain Symposium. In addition, the Global Citizenship Research Initiative was started with a partnership with Soka University in Japan. Early Childhood Studies. Your involvement at placements with people of different abilities and disabilities 
is something that should be noted, as well as the amount of volunteering you all did at various organizations. Your contributions will help them learn and grow. Also, the resource group and the ECS Society have gained much recognition over many years. For psychology, the amount of research you all completed for your theses have been recognized in journals or conferences. The students who complete the honor seminar, you got the experience in performing intensive research on the topic of your choice. Also, you got the privilege to conduct field studies related to mental health in the indigenous community in Lucy. In kinesiology, you all worked with many clients with your on and off campus placements and yet represented the University of Wolfhumber through the participation in the King Games. Finally, the Justice Studies program. You all demonstrate success at the CSI competition in the United States, as well as the various media competitions that may be every year. And this year, we have placed way better than the previous year. <laughs> as you just heard from me, every program and everyone played a huge role in the success of the University of Wolfhumber. Due to those successful moments we had, we were able to put our university recognized at the local, provincial, national, and at a global setting. Thank you to everyone for all of your invaluable contributions. If you remember, there were so many changes that happened during our four years, and I'd like to acknowledge a few of them. When we first started our university years, our beloved feathered friend had joined the Global Humber Band, <laughs> and that is
and change. Do not live in the memories. Let the memories live in you. And I want to conclude from, the, from a quote of the show The Office. <laughs> I wish there was a way to know you're in the good old days before you actually left them. Congratulations, class of 2019, and I wish each and every one of you all the best in the future. Thank you. Yeah.